Leonardo AI has solved an image creation issue of mine that I have had since I first started to use any of the LLMs or any of the AI programs to create images, and that is creating a consistent character. So this is very important if you are trying to tell a story or do, say, like a music video like I like to work on, where um, some of the other programs, they just don't allow you to have a consistent character. As much as you re try to reuse the same prompt or you try to upload an image of someone and say, hey, use this image. It's always somebody that's just slightly different. And Leonardo has finally solved that. So I want to show off a little bit of what Leonardo AI has going on. So those of you who don't know, Leonardo wasn't just an amazing painter, scientist, and engineer, or people of my generation know Leonardo as the leader of the Ninja Turtles. No, no, Le Leonardo in this instance is the image creation app. Um, I believe it is uh, powered by the Deeks Deep Seek engine, and uh, it's really great. I mean, it, it creates really good images. So I want to pop, you know, back here. Um, so this is what happens when you get to the normal Leonardo AI app. This is what you generally see. Um, there's different things uh, that it specializes in in doing. And um, what I really like are these featured guides. So any sort of new feature, anything that's happening in the Leonardo app world, they'll put together a whole guide for you on how to use it, which was super helpful in this instance. So um, just to touch on some of them really quickly, you can upscale images. So you could take an image where it was like blurry and make it look super good. And then they have content reference or style reference. So these are ways to take an image and you say, have an image of this coffee cup and then you upload a style and then boom, it puts that style across everything. So that's pretty cool. So it's fun for designers there. Um, content reference, again, this is also fun. You can upload a bunch of different uh, images and it'll take the one, you know, say the shoe here and it'll extrapolate it across all the different scenes. But those are not the ones that we're worried about today. We are worried about consistent characters. So what's really cool here is I was able to click, I was able to watch a little two minute video of how to do it. Shows me step by step how to do this. So I really, really enjoyed it. And actually this is what earned my newest subscription. So I I'm, I'm now paying 12 a month for Leonardo, but um, I really think I'm going to go to this for a lot of my image creation across the board, whether it be more of these YouTube videos or some of the music videos that I'm working on myself. So um, let me show you guys step by step how I created these images and some of the different nuances in using this engine. So first of all, their community creations are always great. So oftentimes Rosh and I, when we're doing these example videos, some of these image to video ones, stuff like that, we like to go to the communities that have created these things, whether they be mid journey or Leonardo. Um, so I'm going through here, looking through, there's a ton of really good looking ones. So I want to have, um, I wanted it to be a normal human looking character um, that I could have go out through all these scenes. Um, so I kept on going through and I tried to get the one that was the most realistic looking. And then um, I finally, I stumbled upon her. So she, um, it's a pretty long prompt as to how they originally got her. So one of the things that's great about the Leonardo community is when you see an image that you really like, you can go in and see the prompt details. Take some notes of these. This is one of my favorite prompting hacks is to see what the community's up to and borrow. R&D doesn't always have to be research and development. Sometimes it could be rip off and duplication. So take the parts of this that you like. So, all right, I really like this image. Thought it was super good, super striking. And all right, I want to go across the board and show you just how I made some of these different ones. So, um, Step by step, what you're going to do here is when you go to Leonardo, so here actually I'm going to go back one step here. So say um, we go to the normal Leonardo screen and we go to image creation. All right, so here is where you have an opportunity to actually click this. Um, so this would be your normal kind of upload an image button on here. But what it does is it allows you to activate character reference. So as I mentioned before, there's style reference and content reference. So it knows exactly what to do. But in this instance today, we're talking about character reference. So I chose that. And then when I did upload her, I can actually do the strength of the character reference, meaning if it's low, some of her features, you know, um, if it's mid, then it's going to be most of her features. But if it's high, it's going to try its best to be really, really accurate to the original image. And if you'll notice in a lot of the images that I created, um, a lot of the, um, the makeup styling is very similar. And also the hair, uh, the way it kind of curls up around on the top also stays very, very similar. So, um, all right, I'm going to show some of these. Um, I don't know, you know, Leonardo's a little too sensitive on things that it might consider explicit. None of these are explicit. 
So I'm just going to click these and make it go away. So, all right, first one I did, I tried to say show a character as an astronaut golden hour lighting. So um, luckily it doesn't really get hung up if you spell things incorrectly. Good, that's very good for me. Good for most people from what I've heard. Um, so, but yeah, some of these images here that we created, again, it's that same character, golden hour lighting. They actually made the astronauts thing look gold and they added a little gold makeup around the edges. Um, so, but like, look how good this, um, you know, first of all, the character looks like her, but look at this space suit. You know, you got the, the patch here on the side. You've got the sun going off it. I mean, this is an amazing, amazing image. Really hats off to you, Leonardo. Um, you know, all these one, other ones, they're good. I mean, nothing really looks too, too out of place. Um, this one here is, is the hood shut. Is it open? You can't really tell. There's no real reflection here. Um, there's no flags on this one. So it's a little bit different, but still interesting. I'm not sure if these are like a goggle kind of thing going on here. So uh, what I like about Leonardo too, is you can choose the quantity of images you get for each iteration. I've found four to be kind of the magic number. Um, it didn't really take too many credits. Each iteration here, I think was like in the 30 credit world. I started out today with, yeah, I hardly used, I didn't even use 200 credits today. So well worth the money. So, all right, next one here I did in a ballroom with a flowing yellow gown. And again, all of these images, super duper good. So her, all of her facial features, 100% on to the original image. Maybe, maybe 5%, a little more animated than the original image. But again, the original image wasn't a real image. So here we are. Um, another one good. Eh, they, they messed with their teeth a little bit on that one. We'll, we'll keep moving here. Um, that one's good. Again, you know, I think we have a little bit of a tooth issue going on. Um, and this one, all right, the teeth are fine on that one. Really good look. So I'd say two out of four. Super good here. Um, this one, I said a realistic photo of a character dirty after a hard day's work. So I wanted to take this super pretty character and, you know, add a little bit. So there's dirt on the jacket. Her hair's a little bit disheveled. It's got a little bit of dirt on the cheek, but still all in all very put together. Um, teeth are good here. So we didn't have any issues with the teeth. Um, again, nice dirty shirt going on there. Um, this one here actually I thought is one of the most realistic looking ones. So ones like this, where you are able to take programs, say like Pika or Runway, I'm not, my apologies, not Runway, Pika or Kling, where they're really good at animating facial emotions, especially if you don't give it too much else to work with other than just the face. These are really good ones that you could bring to life, whether you want to have, you know, a tear come down or show distress or show her happy that she's at the end of a day's work. Um, but these are really good images to then take that next step of image to video. So again, that's kind of the crux of today's videos to show, you know, wh why we're, how to get the really high quality images that we're then going to try to animate. So now I wanted to test Leonardo a little bit. I tried to give it some copyrighted things and it did it. I said a Star Wars character, it didn't have any hesitation. Um, it added a lightsaber for sure. It definitely has got some, you know, kind of Padme Queen Amidala vibes going on here with the robes. Um, I'd say the lightsabers were kind of in a funny spot, like this one sticking out her back. This one could almost be held by this arm here, maybe. This one I'd say with the red is to be the most accurate. So this is where she's, uh, it's got a little hand showing that it's being held up. So um, apparently our character is much more on the bad side of the force than the good side of the force. So um, pretty good here. All right, I wanted this one now to be a 1920s business owner. So again, it looks like kind of like a speakeasy type bar. Um, the the guard, the clothing looks accurate, but they still have all of her, you know, modern makeup on. Um, the hair is still kind of curled, but done in like an updo to the sides. So that would be reflective of 1920s. So super good. So, all right, a couple things here before this next iteration that I did. So when you do choose which image you upload, you can have a model that it's trained off of. So one of the ones that allows this feature to work is cinematic um, kino, cinematic, I don't even know. I bet you Rosh would know that word better than me or stock photography. Um, so I went back and forth and the first one I did it as stock photo and you know, they all still look pretty realistic. And this one I did that cinematic mode. So I updated a little bit with that and it's up to you. I mean, tell me if you think, you know, tell me in the comments if you see really any differences of the cinematic mode. I mean, maybe, I mean, the, what she's wearing is a little different. It's not as blue or striking in that way. The background is maybe blurred a little bit more to be cinematic. Um, but either way, you know, they're both very intentful with their lighting in the room. And um, I, I mean, they're high quality. It's kind of win-win either direction. So I said, all right, enough of the 1920s. Let's see what this character would look like as a WWE wrestler. Again, trying to push the... Um, um, the copyright issues, but nope, it understood exactly what we were talking about. Now, 
one thing to keep in mind, all of these images are kind of from, you know, like the chest area up and the original image that I uploaded was that. So I think it's trying to keep itself right within those um, bounds. Um, I, oh, I finally got an image with a hand and let's see how it did. Yep, we got five fingers over here. That kind of looks like a thumb, but it's not like a thumb. So, but this hand over here is all together. Not bad. We got five fingers there, but it, I'd say it passed the hand test for the most part. You got to really be looking close. So on this one, I was able to change the vibe over to retro. So when you're in the cinematic mode, you can actually choose from a bunch of different styles. So that's pretty cool. When you're not in the cinematic mode and you're in the stock photography, then your styles, you're pretty much limited to stock photography. So if you want to have a little fun with your character, stay over in the cinematic mode. You can choose from different styles. So that's pretty fun. So, all right, cool. Moving along. Um, all right, so the last one, I just wanted to see how they would do as a mountain climber. And again, all the image is good. They've got the character pretty consistent. She's got, you know, three different levels and types of mountain climber type, um, you know, uniform that she would wear. So all in all, I'm pretty darn happy with Leonardo AI. I think this is one of the premier image creation um, tools. And the fact that we're able to create this consistent character is really going to help at least a lot of my personal creative projects. So um, some of the best ways to get information on the newest updates on these uh, programs are to check in with uh, Rosh and I every Monday on our podcast. We're streaming on all the popular podcast platforms as the Creative AI Show. Also, we put it right here on our YouTube channel. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done it yet, please like and subscribe. And until next time, we're just two creative guys talking AI.